Diana Demerick here, ra, 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 checking with you two things today. If you're feeling overwhelmed with a house and everything you've got to do, it's all right, help, help is at hand. We're just doing a little bit of easy planning, simple planning, just to focus on what is really important to us so we can really get things done. Also, I have bought a couple of uh, fun, fun gadgets, actually really useful things. Can you guess what these are? Let, let's carry on with our, our planning. And remember, I, I've got printables for you. Everything that I mention in my video, whether it's about the daily routines or which zone we are cleaning in the Flying Lady system, they're all on my blog, dandenmark.com. You can edit them, they're, they're all free. And I'll give you the highlights of, of what is on my list. And remember, th this is a working list. I, I just put down things as I think of them. And then during the course of the week, when I'm feeling a bit lost, uh, not got much motivation, don't know, don't know what to do, I can come back to the list. So it's very, very helpful. Projects for me this week, getting in touch with the kids, finding out when they are here over Easter, which meals they're going to be coming for, uh, our upcoming Berlin trip for me and hubby. And I'm still looking for ideas for that if you've got any must-sees or must-dos or must-eats. And I'll go online this week where we have some Swedish tax that we, we need to put in some information there. That way we have a little cabin in Sweden. So that's on my to-do list. Well-being, anything connected with exercising my body, reaching out to friends, staying in touch with family. I've got my swimming lesson with Sue. My friend Erica, I'm meeting up with her for another event last week. I mentioned that we were going to an event and we, we were going to something in a department store. You bought the ticket to go along, it was 75 crowns. It was uh, for Joe Malone, the, um, the perfume thing. And we got a glass of bubbly and some snacks and we presented the new perfumes. And you came home with a little goodie bag, a little scented candle, one of those little test exercise and I did a drawing at the event and three people won a huge bottle of perfume and guess, guess what I was one of them so I was feeling very lucky last week anyway Eric and I are going to another event this week and it's the kind of thing you know look out for them they, they often have them at your department stores we'd be spending the same amount of money if we, we met a cafe together so anyway that, that's something fun for us I've got a group yoga session running. I, I usually run once a week, usually do that at the weekend. I've got a swap party coming up this week. You've seen me decluttering for that. And there's also a public swap going on this week, weekend. I, I shall see if I make it to that or not. Anyway, it's on my list. We, we shall see if that happens. Fly ladies, weekly upkeep clean. You, you know the score with that. On to the zone work for this week. We are in zone five, which is the living room. If you want help, we're actually clean along with you. I've got a whole playlist where you can see me working in zone five, decluttering for 15 minutes. So I've got plenty of ideas for that. The things that I'm gonna be working on for zone five this week, I'm gonna look through the drawer in the living room, you know, that big chest of drawers that we got from a dearly departed Danish father-in-law from his side of the family. And I've got a drawer which contains candles and, and batteries, candle holders. I'm gonna look through that and just give it a, a general tidy up. And I've also got linens in the bottom of the drawer and I'll, I'll be looking through, take out my, my Easter linens, setting the table, looking forward to that. And also my sewing supplies. I've just <laughs> moved out a whole lot of fabrics and stuffing, you, you saw that last week. But I'm going to look through the things that go with my sewing machine because I've got lots of needles and I'm not sure I need to hang on to all of these and all these spools of thread. I'm not going to be doing projects with fancy coloured threads as long as I've got the main, the main things like navy, white, black, red and pink. So I'm going to go through those and I'm thinking a lot of them, those can go to our next swap. Right, and back on with the menu ideas. This week we're having one pot pasta chili and rice tartletter which is little uh, danish pastry cases which you fill with usually asparagus and chicken i'll be doing them with chicken and mushroom this week meatballs with polenta i love doing <laughs> polenta in the instant pot it's so easy when you do the pot and pot method so meatballs with polenta i'll be making my mum's beef stew scottish stew also in the instant pot Got video for that. The hubby and I at the weekend will be having some steaks with bayonet sauce and homemade uh, fries. 
So, and, and this is just an idea for what I'm going to be making this week, because often we will have leftovers or we will scratch one of the things and make something else. But it just gives me an idea for what I need so I can make sure that I have the food in the house or that I, I look in the freezer and see what we can use up. Errands for this week, not, not essentials. These are just if I'm out and about. Uh, I need a new face powder, you know, a compact. On my would like to have list of clothes, I would like to get a new white shirt, just a really basic white shirt because I use that a lot for layering. And a pair of navy uh, joggers, you know, jo jogging pants. And I'm looking for ones that, that don't go saggy in the knees after a couple of times of wearing them. So, so those are just kind of on my most wanted list. And that also stops me from buying other stuff when, when I'm out in the store. So it's just things that have kind of got my radar. And also I need to get some more of our afternoon tea from Chaya. That's our local um, tea shop. And, and I really love the afternoon one and I've got that much left. So, so that's on my list. And also see if they've got something nice for Easter. Any other business? I've actually got that blank at the moment. Just uh, I'm still on the thing of eating two eggs daily. And a lot of you have asked why am I doing that? It's just a really easy way to get more protein into my diet and all my really sporty, active, got it all going on friends, they, they, they eat two eggs daily. So, so what I usually do is I boil up a whole lot of eggs at the beginning of the week and then I can easily take one for a snack. So that's why I'm doing that. And what about these gadgets? Has anybody already guessed what they are? And I bought this when I was in Muji. I was in Muji last uh, week with, when, when I was out with Erica. And they are for squeezing tubes. Now I'm sure you, oh, look at the snow. Okay, sorry. Uh, and, and I thought, oh, you, and you know me, the canny Scott. I, I love when I can get the very last out of a tube. And I thought, is this gonna make much difference? Here's the construction of it. And you put it through this part. And then, like that, you can squeeze. <gasps> and look, look how thin, <laughs> thin it gets. So I, they came in a little packet, tube squeezer. And I'm sure you can get them where you are, at, at a, a cheap version wherever you live. 23 Danish crowns for, for three of them. So I've put them on and I'll let you know how, how it goes. But actually, I'm finding them really, really useful. And the other item also came from Muji. I'll let you have a look. There we are. Any any bids? Okay. Les jeux sont faits. This is something that I use on a daily basis and I love using this thing, but I've never seen one like this before. Do you know what it is? It's an eyelash curler. It's a portable eyelash curler. Pull down here at the back and then it's got a little spring inside it and then you can go like that and, and curl your eyelash. And I won't do it because I've already got mascara on and squeeze gently. And I love eyelash curlers. I've been using eyelash curlers since I was 20, 21 and they really just open up the eyes. I'm looking forward to seeing how long this lasts because it is in plastic and I'm thinking ah is it going to break but in Denmark we have two years guarantee on everything that you buy so and, and it is Muji so I'm, I'm thinking they've probably thought about this and the price of the portable eyelash curler was 79 crowns so not cheap but it is um, space saving and a little update on my crest project last week I, I showed you that I had put some grass seeds in here and look at that after just one week in my little bunny the other bunnies over there and the daffodils that I had put in these ones have now flowered the other ones are just flowering now over there and what I do with these is once I've enjoyed them inside then I plant them outside in the garden and I just kind of plant them at random and these are some of the ones that I've planted in previous years and they're now coming up in the garden but look at that really pretty so yes we're, we're coming up for Easter and it's snowing T typical Danish weather so I hope you enjoyed our little bit of spring planning today remember you can find all the templates on my blog dianedenmark.com they're, they're all free all my lists and I'm going to get back to work and all I've got left to say is live long and prosper may this spring hooga be with you and I'll see you very soon with a wrap 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 bye for now